Today in the shop, I want to work on Casper's fuel hoses. You remember in an earlier video, I talked about those most important things you want to check before you hit the road with one of these cars, and one of them was fuel hoses. And I knew right away, even when I bought the car, looking in the engine compartment, I could tell there were a couple things that were not quite right. One of the fuel injector return hoses had been replaced by some strange looking yellow fuel hose. The owner told me he couldn't find an injector return hose anywhere on the internet. He didn't go to mercedesource.com, that's for sure. So that's gonna have to be dealt with. The other thing is the return hose off the top of the filter is not one of these cigar hoses. You can look here that someone replaced that hose but didn't use the proper cigar hose. So I'm going to change that hose, I'm gonna replace you know, the, all the fuel injector return hoses, and I'm gonna get back under the rear of the car, and we're gonna drain the fuel out, and we're gonna take a look at the fuel tank screen, and we're gonna replace that rear fuel tank hose, because this is the one that, that is often neglected, and this is the one that will fail and leave you stranded. So let me talk a little bit more about fuel hoses and the types of things you want to avoid when you go to replace the ones on your old bins. I'm holding here a sample of a factory braided fuel hose. You can see the cloth braiding on the outside surface, and you would suspect that would create a very strong hose, right? You see these on a lot of these older cars, particularly the diesels, both at the rear of the tank and in the engine compartment. These are the ones you have to really watch out for, but the Mercedes also use braided hose in other areas, and I'll show you that shortly. But it looks pretty good, it looks pretty stout, and probably is for the first five to 10 years, but then they start to deteriorate. And I'm gonna show you this hose here. Here's a braided hose that you notice is starting to get kind of wet looking, and that's the first sign of failure on a braided hose. It'll just have this kind of wet look. It may not be wet, but you can see it looks like something spilled on it, and if you take the clamp off, Look what you'll see. You'll see cracked ends around where the clamp goes on the end of the hose, and that's the case on both ends. Sometimes it's worse. This is probably where it came out of the tank. But what'll happen is if you do neglect these braided hoses like this, eventually these will start leaking from the inside out. Yes, that is correct. These braided hoses will leak from the inside out, and let me tell you, that's not something you want to have to deal with. They also use braided hose on the hydraulic tanks here, and these really deteriorate, I think primarily because the hydraulic fluid is probably a little more chemically harsh than diesel fuel. But these hoses just start falling apart. Look at that braided hose as it starts to deteriorate here. And if, if I pull on this a little bit, I think I can probably rip it. Let's see, let's get some pliers on it. Sometimes they'll just rip off in your hand. Okay, you can see this, this one is totally failing there. I wasn't able to quite rip it open, but all the braiding will deteriorate and the rubber inside is rotten. For these tanks like this that use hydraulic fluid for self-leveling suspension, we sell a hose that has a plastic sheath internally in it. This is for biodiesel. And this hose is almost impervious to any kind of chemical. And this is the type of hose you wanna replace these SLS hydraulic hoses with. Don't just use regular fuel hose. But as far as all the other hoses, the braided hoses, you can remove them and use standard 5 16 inch, in most cases that's the same as eight millimeter, fuel hoses to replace the braided ones that are deteriorating in your Mercedes. Now there's one place where you have to use braided hose as I showed you earlier. If you don't, the hose won't stay on and that's on these fuel injector return hoses. This is something you'll have to keep an eye on and change every few years because they do age because of the heat in and around the fuel injectors and the fuel moving through these hoses. And so my word of warning, if you have one of these old Mercedes diesels and haven't looked at your fuel hoses recently, I would recommend you do. You may have to get into the car, particularly the one that comes out of the rear tank. It has a special fitting and if it's braided, you'll want to replace this. Now we do have complete hose kits on my website which have a variety of hoses including the cigar shaped return hose that goes from the top of the filter down to the line going back to your fuel tank. That's the correct hose 
to put on these old diesels along with some high quality clamps. So if you need a hose replacement kit, we have that on my website, which also includes instructions. We also have other specialty hoses, particularly this really nice Parker biodiesel hose that can be used in multiple applications where you're using something other than just standard diesel fuel that's moving through the hose itself. One thing I should note though, if you're back there underneath the car and you find that this outlet hose is leaking, I recommend you also just remove the screen in the fuel tank. A lot of people don't know there's a little screen like this back there and that can cause power loss problems on these diesels. You've probably seen my other videos about these fuel tank screens. We have special tools that will help you remove these along with instructions. But what I recommend a lot of times, if you don't know the history of your fuel tank screen, just buy a new one. They're not that expensive because you go to all the trouble and you get it out there, you find it's all crudded or plugged up or even torn, then you gotta wait to get a screen. You might as well just replace it with a new one because when you pull this hose to replace the fuel hose, you're gonna have to drain all the fuel out. So that's the time to go after this fuel tank screen as well. So be sure and visit my website for anything related to fuel hoses and clamps that can make sure you keep your old diesel on the road.